Hey folks, I'm RJ Byrne, and today in this cotton field out here, um, I'm actually in my cotton fungicide trial, and I'm going to talk a little bit about some cotton diseases that we're seeing right now. Uh, today's uh, August 30th. We're in in August out. We've had a lot of rain and cloud cover this uh, month. It's not really been helping us out. We're starting to definitely see more bull rot. We're seeing some hard lock as this cotton's opening up. Of course, we're also getting some natural senescence just due to the fact this cotton's maturing. And uh, we're not going to be far from defoliation, hopefully. Uh, we could sure use some sunshine. As you can kind of see today, it's overcast behind me here um, with the forecast of more rain. This tropical storm slash Hurricane Irene has brought into us in the southwest Georgia. Uh, behind me here, or excuse me, right over here, you can see we've got uh, quite a bit of bull rot activity going on, and this is really going to hurt us, I think, this year in terms of yield goes. You can see right there that this land is just damaged, the color is gone, that seed is rotten. We're also starting to get some hard rock as well. You can see here that this bowl's been trying to open and when we get rain it causes that carpal to open and close open and close to finally it just runs out of steam and it's not going to open up and fluff out like this one right here um, again that's not going to help us out uh, we're also still facing pressure from corn asper leaf spot disease or target spot you can see right here is a pretty good example of a hit right here um, that good bullseye pattern right there is definitely um, a hit of corn espera and I think that's contributed to a lot of this defoliation that if you can see right down the row here um, you can go quite a ways down and you can look over through these plants here and easily see below the canopy um, and I would encourage people to be checking their fields and that's one thing you've got to do with target spot or core nest release spot is you got to be out looking because you're really not going to see it from the edge of the field unless it happens right on the edge of the field typically you're going to notice it. it'll it start off in a spot somewhere in the field and like this year with the weather we had it'll explode within a matter of a few days to a few weeks um, some other interesting things to note about uh, core nest is that we're also starting to find that it is attaching to the um, to the bracts right here we're starting to see some and we're also finding it as well um, not only the bracts but also you're finding on the bowls here too we're we're not really 100 percent sure what's going on there if that's affecting us much as you know by getting on the leaf surface and dropping that leaf um, and I also think we're finding it too on the petioles as well you can see here we're getting some staining going on if I can get this camera to focus you can see those little dark purple stains um, and actually throw those under the microscope you'll find the the spores of the corn espera. Uh, this is definitely something we got to start managing with a cotton fungicide application that's going to vary um, from variety to variety and field to field and also weather there's a lot of important factors that go into play i encourage you to be out there scouting and looking check out where your fields are having an issue with um, a lot of defoliation early or a lot of corn esper this year uh, that'd be something to be considering for next year and determining hey i need to be checking this field because i've had it this past this year so in 2013, that would likely be a spot where you'll see it pop up again. Again, I'm R.J. Byrne, and if you need any more information, you can contact me through the link below. Thanks.